So this is how the treadmill comes, uh, just right out of the box. I cut these four straps, pop the top off, a little bit of tape on there, no big deal. And uh, just remove the styrofoam and everything. It looks like it's pretty well put together. You probably have to fold this front piece up. Let's, uh, let's get it out there and take a look. This is all the hardware and extras that it comes with. This is an emergency cutoff. Like you clip this to your shirts and this, uh, this magnetizes to the treadmill and it pops off if you fall and it shuts the treadmill off. Uh, it's got a little bit of hardware as far as nuts and bolts, a couple of Allen wrenches, a weird looking screwdriver with some spanners on there. And this, this bolt was actually loose in the box. So I uh, hope it's not important or I hope it tells me in the directions where that bolt is supposed to go because it was just it was just in the box on the bottom of the box hope it hope it doesn't make the whole thing fall apart so the whole thing took 15 minutes and most of that was just tearing the plastic off it's pretty straightforward uh you need to put a bolt in right there and then a bolt in right there i can't really focus on it, but that's okay uh same thing on that side and then the bolts to keep this upright and that's basically it one thing i would say is there's no setting to incline this at all. What you have to do, and this is the lowest, this is, this, I'm sorry, this is the steepest incline it's gonna have. See what this pull pin is? What you have to do is you have to lift this up and put the pin in higher ones. The, the top one right here makes the treadmill level, like 100% level. And so this is the, this, this one right here is the, uh, is the steepest incline that it's gonna get. There's a, there's a bolt in there with the included Allen key, and there's another one on this side as well, you see that hole right there, kind of hard to see. But what you can do is you can use this Allen key or really any Allen key, and it'll adjust the side to side of the treadmill if for some reason it comes shipped to you and the track is a little off. Um, of course, you know, I'm not a professional, wouldn't act like that I'm a professional, <laughs> nothing like that. But um, speaking of being a professional, the two ways really that most people use treadmills is steady state cardio, that is just, getting on there and choosing, you know, saying three minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever, and just doing solid cardio, one, one, uh, one speed, and that's gonna burn calories, right? You can also do sprints, and you know, anybody that's ever used a treadmill knows you know, how to use a treadmill, but neither of them are wrong. You know, they accomplish different goals, but also they accomplish the same goal of burning calories. So if you're trying to lose weight and all of that, again, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a uh, personal trainer, Doing sprints and running is gonna burn calories faster, but it's not gonna burn them any better. It's just gonna take less time. You can get there by, by walking, right? Just, you know, muscles don't know where the calorie burn comes from, right? They're not, <laughs> they just don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, good treadmill for the basement and uh, nice addition to our little gym collection that we've got going so far. Uh, we've got another one of these on the way because my wife and I wanna do cardio together in the mornings. And uh, yeah, good stuff.